Hello guys, hello everyone. Welcome you all for this into any AML session where we're going to learn everything that you guys are need in order to become a successful data scientist. Hope you guys are enjoying every day. So as we are always telling, like please go through all the previous session videos so that you guys can have a better understanding of what we are telling now. So yeah, that's that's from my side, guys. I, so that's from our side. The only request from our side is to just watch all the previous video so that you can have a better understanding what we are telling now and can you can keep track of what we are doing. Okay. So guys, uh, and one more thing, like if you guys are feeling any difficulties or anything that we need to improve, uh, feel free. So we are, uh, we will grow whenever you just see something uh, which can be improved in our side, we can do that. Okay. Please ping everything in the comment. So we, we can just take it and we can improve. Okay. So yes, yeah, guys, uh, without, without any wasting time, we just jump into the session. So today's session is all about introduction to SQL for data science. Okay. So SQL is a powerful language for working with relational database. It's a must have skill for data scientists, allowing you to access, manipulate and analyze data effectively. So you guys can ask me why I need SQL. Okay. So I will say SQL is, is a kind of query language. Okay. That is a base as sir and we are, me are suggesting you need to have a understanding of C so that only you can have a, you can build any, any programming language on top of it. Similarly, SQL is a query language. If you know, that means you can build anything on top of it. Okay. Consider like. I'm working in a company. Okay. They have a data which is stored in the database only. It is a MongoDB. Okay. Uh, it is like a graph kind of, it is an unstructured database where we, I need to query the data and then I need to use it. Okay. You can ask me why I need to study SQL. Okay. SQL is like C program. If you learn that, then everything coming right. Uh, so everything which is query language, we can easily able to understand that. Okay. So that's the reason you guys need to have a better understanding and a good understanding of this SQL so that anything you can build on top of it. So MongoDB is more like SQL. So if you guys know this SQL, anything you can build on top of it. Similarly, like if you know C, you can uh, you can easy to learn Java, JavaScript, Python, or any language. So like that, you guys need to have uh, SQL understanding for query language, okay? So yeah, that's it for my say, sir. Over to you, sir. Yeah, guys, uh, yes. Welcome, welcome, guys. Go and watch all the sessions five to ten times and understand, uh, absorb the information, digest the information, and apply the information. So, write in the comment section if you want to improve anything, any you have any feedback, write in the comment section also to all the assignments and go watch all the sessions five to ten times so that only after that you come here. Otherwise, it is not going to make any sense guys okay and subscribe to our channels and also write in the comment section also press the bell icon so that you will get notification for each session so let us dive into the uh, into this session so introduction to sql for data science so sql is a very very powerful tool and a platform where guys Oh, you need to learn if you see for C you will understand when you're learning C you will learn how programming works all the languages called mother of all languages so you will understand that but in SQL you will understand how data you can um, you can work on data so uh, for data it is the foundational language which you need to learn okay and it's a very powerful language uh, works with rational database it it, um, it this is a this is a like r this sql python they are super 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 important tools guys for becoming uh, expert in ai ml or uh, ml or ai researcher or scientist or data scientist so these are very critical tools and uh, softwares which you need to learn so uh, this is very important a must uh, skill you need to have allowing you to access multiple manipulate you can manipulate the data you can analyze the data effectively and uh, you will understand it is very simple again python r and sql they are very very a simple language you need to have a clarity of concept and the logic clarity and you need to have patience so that you absorb digest 
and then you go and build something great with these tools they are very important tools okay so so we'll dive into the other slide let's dive today into sql for data science thank you yes sir sure so moving on let's see what we are having okay what is sql okay actually sir has explained that so let's see SQL is a structured query language. It's a domain specific language used to manage the data in a relational database management system. So consider, so we are having a data in a form of a table. Okay. Then how to access the data from it? Okay. We have stored the data in the form of a table. How to access the data? We need something like, um, like we need to access the data by using some, some things like consider I am a data. Okay. How you can access me through my name, right? Like that, how you can access the data in, in the database, which is stored in the form of a table. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. So uh, let's let's put it in a simple manner. Like as you in order to access me, you are having a name, right? For me. Like that, you're gonna have something in order to access the data which is present in the table for me. Okay. So let's let's uh, let's um, go through each and everything that we are having. First is data manipulation. SQL allows us to insert, update, delete, and retrieve data within the your database. So it's true. Okay. You can insert your data, update your data, delete and retrieve the data. Uh, whenever you are having a database, you can do these things by using SQL language. Then data definition, you can define a structure of your database. You can create your database, okay? Like create tables, specify the data types which are present in the data and define the relationship between tables. These things you can go do, okay? So I, I'm not exaggerating, these things we're gonna do, okay? So then data control, um, SQL allows us to grant access control and set permissions for the user to manage and interact with the database okay so this is an important thing guys because like if you are having very private information or like information which has uh, more secrecy or you need a very important information in order to safeguard it so you need to have a you need to uh, have in a manner it is a password okay so that's the thing so this data control language okay which is present in the sql which allows us to uh, give access to only permitted users okay like permission for the user who are like a higher authority consider if you are in a uh, company so that will be a, a person called as admin who has uh, access to everything okay whereas the next level is like tl okay that he has uh, access to some things okay whereas the team members doesn't have any access they have access to their only one their laptop okay so like that so it is a way of giving controls okay okay distribution of controls through different levels okay so these are the some languages which are present in the uh, SQL, like data manipulation, which can do creation, updation, deletion, and then retrieval. Whereas data definition, we can create the table, like for create um, with together with the uh, data type of the data. Okay, and then we can define the relationship between the tables also. Finally, we are having data control engine, which is used to give control over the data. Okay, like uh, what kind of control we need to give, what's what to set for this kind of members and privilege, like those things it will give. So that is what all about data uh, SQL. Okay. So how data is stored in the SQL and how are the languages works in the SQL. So yes, sir, over to you. Yes. So guys, this is structured query language. Okay. So it is SQL is the domain specific language. It is used for managing data in a rational database management system which is rdbms okay there is deep database management system and there is this is rdbms it is uh, used for rdbms okay so data manipulation we can do sql allows us to insert update delete retrieve data within your database it's very simple you can connect your excel data sheet or uh, access you can uh, within minutes you can do data manipulation guys it's not it is just you need to have hands-on practice and you need to understand the concepts very deeply and understanding clearly and also you need to practice so data definition you can define the structure of your database create tables specify data types define relationship between tables it's very simple you need to remember certain terminology and you need to know how to apply them and what is the logic and you need to do practice so you will learn it it's not that hard it's very simple huh? data control sql grants access control and sets permission for users to manage interact with the database so so that 
your original database is not manipulated that way somebody is not having access it gives sets permissions and so that you can uh, interact with data and it gives access to only specified people you can set that so that is also there data control is there data manipulation is there so let us move to the other section yeah sure sir. okay this is what all about data what is SQL? okay let's see what we are having okay next we are having relational database and data storage okay so relational database organize data into table where each table represents a specific entity and each row represents a unique record. Okay. I will put it in a simple manner. Relational database means it's a table. Okay. Whenever you are having a row, right? In the table, we are having row. Those are called as records. Whereas we are having columns, right? Those are called as features. Okay. Or it will be called as a individual entities. Okay. So in any way, okay. They are columns and these are rows. They are records and then features. Okay. Uh, rows are records, columns are features. So let's see the remaining terminals that we are having. Tables. Table consists of rows and columns. That's true. Each row represents a record and each column represents the specific attribute. We can call it as an attribute or it's a, it's a feature. Okay. So that's a simple explanation for what is table. Okay. Built up of rows and columns. Row is called as record and the column is called as attributes or features. Okay. Moving on. Relationships. Okay. Relationship between the tables are exhibited or established through foreign keys ensuring the data consistency and integrity okay don't worry about the foreign key okay. so i think it will be a, it will be like a tricky word to answer okay in order to make a relationship between two table okay okay i will put it in this manner okay so what is the relationship between v and you guys how we can relate how we can have a relationship between uh, you guys and us that is one key term data science right we also teaching you data science and you guys are very enthusiastic to learn data science what is common among them what is common among us okay data science that is what uh, that is how a relationship is built that is what is foreign key okay i hope like i have explained in a very simple manner okay so in order to build a relationship between table we need a foreign key through which we can create a relationship between the two or more tables okay next data integrity Constraints such as primary key and foreign key enforces data integrity and consistency within the uh, data database. Okay, so whenever you just store the data, the data should be form. Uh, it should follow some certain set of rules and uh, techniques, rules and regulations. So it will be there in this relational database. Okay, I hope like this is very, uh, very, very understandable for you. What is table? What is a relation? And then what is the data integrity? Okay, so yes, sir, over to you. Yes, so rational databases and data storage. So rational database organizes data into tables. Okay, it is on like rationally organized. Okay, where each table represents a specific entity and each row represents a unique record. So this is what you need to remember. Okay, so it is rational. When it is rational, it is rationally organized. Okay and uh, table table consists of rows and columns okay see guys table array if you see arrays also but table here is a different thing but arrays have a different but rows and columns is a that is the spirit of um, data so if you see in arrays also you have rows and columns in tables also you have rows and columns you excel you have rows and columns everywhere you see uh, these rows and columns okay each row represents record each in metrics also you have rows and columns okay so each row represents record each column represents specific attribute here uh, it is very specific to sql okay so you need to understand it from sql point of view so relationships relationship between table and establish are established through foreign key okay ensuring data consistency consistency and integrity so there is a there is a key foreign key used in the uh, in the data which represents the relationship okay with the, uh, like ensuring data consistency and integrity so that is why uh, that particular uh, key is used so data integrity it 
कन कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट सच एज प्राइमरी की एंड फॉरन की एनफोर्स डेटा इंटीग्रिटी ओके एंड consistency within the database so uh, sql also provides data integrity which is like through foreign key and enforces data integrity and consistency within the database so so these are very important uh, aspects of uh, characteristics of Uh, rational database and data storage like um, tables relationships okay through uh, foreign key because for why foreign key because you need to maintain the data integrity and consistency so then data integrity consist uh, is primarily uh, there are like it is uh, controlled through foreign key key and enforces data integrity and consistency within the data foreign foreign key is a very important aspect for data integrity and relationship okay guys so this is how we do rational database and uh, we know about sql in rational database and data storage yeah that's that's the thing sir. so this is why how we can store the data and then we can properly have the integrity okay so moving on let's see what we are having okay we going to see some uh, syntax in sql okay like basic syntax and then queries okay so sql queries are a structured statements that retrieve modify or manipulate data within the database okay i hope like guys uh, this is like a formula okay you guys doesn't need to create it as a own you guys need to follow this rules okay let's see what are the statements that what are the syntax or statements or queries it has okay first is select retrieves data from the table based on the specific condition select if if the statement is select you need to consider that it gonna retrieve some data based on some condition next from specifies the data from which the data should be retrieved okay specify the table from which the data should be retrieved okay from is that it's a keyword after that we will be having table name okay it shows from shows what data has to be retrieved sorry from which table the data should be retrieved okay select is used to retrieve the data from the table from is used to define from which table it need to retrieve the data where filters rows based on certain criteria to retrieve specific data okay where after where there is a condition okay whenever there is a condition it can filter the records in the table okay where is used to do the operation called as filters okay then order by it sorts the retrieve it sorts the retrieved data based on the specific column or criteria okay order by is like sorting it's a ascending or descending order sorting hope like it's very easy okay Let, let's put it in a simple manner select is used to retrieve the data from the table from it is used to say from which table i'm going to get the data where it is used for giving the conditions order by it is used to perform sorting either it is a ascending order or descending order that's it okay make this very easier okay so hope you guys have understand so yeah that's from my side yes sir over to you yes so sql syntax and what we have is basic query so these are very basic guys huh? this is how uh, we have to understand the syntax how we have to run the query and stuff we need to first get familiarized with it so SQL queries are structured statements that retrieve, modify, manipulate data within the database. That's what you have: retrieve, modify, and manipulate. R M M. So for now, you need to remember this term: R R M. So the SQL queries does within the database. So select. Okay, select is retrieve data from table based on specific conditions. okay that is where select is used second is from specifies the table from which data should be retrieved okay suppose uh, if i ask you okay you uh, if i ask somebody who is a literate person i'll ask him you bring from my library you bring this book i'll just give name 
uh, that person will go and he will look at the books and name and he will come and he will tell me okay this is the book which you have asked if i have a person uh, suppose some servant is there who, uh, who i am asking you get a book uh, he is not literate he is not literate okay so you have to understand that computers are also dumb they are not literate we have to make them literate and intelligent so how we'll do that so i'll give example so i asked my servant he is not literate he has not studied school and all so i'll ask him okay how i'll ask him i'll not ask him give me the name so i ask him you go to the library from the right hand side go to the uh, first shelf uh, which is the first shelf from in the first shelf go to the fifth book and get that book so i am very specific from so similarly here when you are select so you are retrieving data from a specific with a specific condition i also specified when if i say generally to a illiterate person who's not gone to school and i ask him you bring sapiens book he will never ever be able to get that book if i ask specifically which shelf which number which from which side so he will get that okay so from again specifies table from each uh, data should be retrieved so it is specific instruction where which shelf which place which side right so you have to be very specific asking the command okay so similarly where again where filters rows based on certain criteria to retrieve the specific data again i asked first shelf so uh, i asked my servant first shelf okay first shelf fourth book so where that is this is because you have to understand the computer and sql all these programs dumb like they they are illiterate you have to tell them specifically and specificity is the language for clarity and getting work done so then order by sorts the retrieved data based on specified column or, or criteria again guys we have to tell specific instruction which column which row which column we have to retrieve the data based on the criteria so i gave you example remember that example uh, and that will help you like you have to consider these machines and need dumb we have to make them intelligent with specific communication specific instructions and this is that is why sql has used these queries select from where and order by let's move to the other slide yeah sure sir so actually sir has explained with the with the proper real world example okay so yeah guys like uh, this is what we are having for this session so we have introduced you to the uh, new language query language sql uh, and we have said that so it's a basic so you guys need to have a perfect understanding of what we are telling so that you can build any kind of query language on top of it so we have introduced some of the queries today so like hope you guys have enjoyed this session uh, let's uh, let us connect in the next session before that like guys please make sure that you have a hundred percent understanding of everything if you guys stuck anywhere if you guys have any doubt just ping in the comments we are here to help you if you guys uh like uh, uh doesn't subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel because like uh it's gonna be like a uh, year-long program right so you're gonna get lots of things from us okay so please subscribe to the channel and please bell, uh, press the bell icon so that you can uh, get notified uh, whenever we just upload the video okay so hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, session meet you all in the next session until then take care bye guys so uh, yes guys so we are giving real life examples and making it very simple guys so that anyone can learn sql data science and uh, AI ML deeply and go learn all these sessions five to ten times absorb the information digest the inf and apply use go and do all the assignments which are given for you guys and uh, subscribe to our channels and also press the bell icon so that you will get notification for each session okay 
and uh, let us let us go to the other section let me to you next session so uh, do it deeply have a objective function for long term goal what do you want to become and write in the comment section and give us feedback for each session how we can improve and make it more engaging and relevant for you guys and if you have any other topics you want to cover anything so kindly write in the uh, comment section so we'll be there to help we'll be always there to help you guys thank you